Billy, that's you. Billy, that's you. First, I do care about the turtles, and I do not like straws because of that shore. I love a straw. I love a good straw. I love sucking on shit. <laughs> not dicks or anything. Nothing One homosexual. One fifteen ten. <laughs> <laughs> not nothing homosexual. I One three twenty. If that makes sense. <laughs> okay. He's That's right. gonna be in the opening video. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god, bro. There is no one like you. <laughs> you are. Bro, I'm gonna fall around and make my whole fucking album distorted, and they gon' they gon' be like that boy edgy as fuck. Yeah, fuck. T cap eight oh three. Coming heavy with the weight in, feel wonder if the hoes in Jesus' hand held. Give a fuck how a man feel. Whole world at a standstill, stigmatized. Donald Trump, they will not criticize. Still question Obama like my nigga lied. White girls used to sell my dick a ride. Out here switching sides, causing shit to mind the window 'cause they live in blind. And they sold that show it. I swear my flow how potent. How these hoes got open and you know pops joking. If he ain't stuck again, it's no wonder your seven victim hoes free of heaven's prison. These are split decisions, and I think I get the misses, but I get the masses. My whole arm there no walls. I ain't kissing ass in the shit, and I don't stop. Don't stop. She ain't falls the end, and she won't call her. You didn't see it coming, people are screaming, running, baby, like babies, why they ain't even back to drive, force power, it's easy, punch it, smoke a weed, I'm blunted, no, this thing's a stun, ain't me like Jesus first. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Ah! Hey.
Are you guys awake? Hey. Is everyone here awake? Hey, Charlie. Is this hold on, they can't. Hold on, I can't hear you. They might be able to, but we. I Charlie, can't. Hold on. Charlie. Shh, wait, wait, Creighton, be no, quiet. This is important. Creighton, listen, listen, listen. Charlie. Ban it, ban This bolt. Oh shit! I forgot to do the camera. Hey. <laughs> Hello. This I don't have my jacket on, and this bolt came off my mic. Nice. Let's wait. Yeah, oh look. my god, I see. That. Oh, no, it goes on. You just have to read. It's okay. Just don't mess with it right now. Okay. Put on your fucking jacket. I can't believe you. How dare you not have on your. The thing. How, how dare you not have on your defining character trait? Don't look. <sighs> um. I agree, Kristen, that Tristan is most likely a vampire. Yeah. Fuck you, Charlie. Why? Fuck off. Go on. Why? What are you guys saying? <laughs> was it because I was screaming? <laughs> I was screaming before I cut the mics back on for OBS. And then I was like, it would be so funny if they're just watching. They start hearing screaming in the middle of the thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was funny, though, right? <clears throat> Do you remember the greatest joke in all of animation history? Which one? The one where, like, it's the Johnny Bravo, Johnny Bravo uh. and Scooby-Doo crossover. And both him and Velma dropped their glasses. And Velma's <laughs> like, I can't see without my glasses. And Johnny Bravo's, like, feeling around, like, my glasses. I can't be seen without my glasses. <laughs> I can't be seen without my glasses. I hated that show. Johnny Bravo? Why? I just hated it's so it. so funny. I just couldn't watch the Christmas it. Christmas episodes are the best. <laughs> though. Are you alright? <coughs> Charlie's actually dying. The screaming was foreshadowing. I had, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you had what? You had 12 packs of cigarettes before you started recording? Yeah, is that what it is? Secretly, I smoke all the time. Yeah. And then he preaches about being healthy. Uh, <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Charlie, before you die, you gotta tell us the weather. I'll try my hardest. Do it. Charlie. Do it. The weather. Flint's like the weather. I'm weather in all caps. Weather. I bullet. know, guys. Weather. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> let me get it out. I'm sorry. Let me read. Let me pull it out. I'm sorry. Yeah, since Charlie stopped going to the gym, his voice is lost all Alamosa County, its deep depth. Colorado. I haven't stopped going. You didn't go today. Yeah, I did. You did. Yeah. I didn't see you. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't there, I wasn't there the last 20 hours, Graydon. Wait, oh. so you didn't go today? <laughs> oh, I did go. I said I wasn't there for the last 20 hours. Oh, oh. Not I didn't go in the last oh, 20 hours. Oh, oh. God damn it. <laughs> and it's... Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> the weather in Alamosa, Colorado today was mostly cloudy. 64 oh. degrees Fahrenheit. Precipitation was 15%. The humidity, 52%. The wind was 6 miles an hour. Tomorrow... Monday. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is that you're reading the weather for Sunday, Charlie? Today's Monday, going into Tuesday. Also, Caleb, no, this is Monday. It says Monday, and then Monday, Monday. The weather the on Tuesday. <laughs> the we- the weather on second Monday, <laughs> <laughs> also known as Tuesday, has a high of 87 and a no, low no, of 49. Just second Monday. Just It'll second be Monday. mostly cloudy. Then you have Tuesday, the second Tuesday. Oh my God. And that's how we get through. I really August. almost died because of that. Sh- I don't. That, that piece of Where was that right. at again? Alamosa County, Colorado. Oh, that's why they have two Mondays in Colorado. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Is it like in Nevada where they don't have daylight savings? Exactly. It's always a bit off there. You know what I mean? My my uncle lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That has nothing to do with this, but it's on that side of the country. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't see you at the gym earlier. Either, bitch. Suspicious much? Nick, there was no way you were at the job. <laughs> you made the claim, Charlie, the burden of proof re- rests on your... Sh- what? You made the claim, Charlie, the burden of proof rests on your shoulders. What? Go- check the logbook. Go just look in the logbook. You'll see Catone. <laughs> what time did you go? <clears throat> like... Three... Seven, I don't remember. <laughs> you want me to call you tomorrow before I go? Yes. Okay. I want to go earlier than I went. I went today, and, like, I got there, and I was like, damn, I should call Charlie. And then I was like, bam, but I'm also here now. Hello. She can hear it now. (laughs) Well, uh, wait, what? Call me. Wait, Creighton got that dump truck. I'll just say what's on everybody's mind. Don't nobody give a fuck about the weather. (laughs) (laughs) I think you don't understand how important the weather is for this podcast. Call me before you go to the gym, and I'll come with. See, there you go. Well, we're going to roll in with a whole crew tomorrow. <laughs> also, I need help moving stuff if you want to come. Help me do that, too. Steezy the Shooter, thank you for following. What'd you say? I said I need help moving stuff tomorrow if you want to come do that. Where? 
Like, I'm moving stuff to my dad's lake house, and then I'm helping Kristen move stuff. And then we're going to Hickory Tavern. I mean, what? I don't know. Maybe. If you want we'll to. Talk you don't podcast. have to. Like, it's not like it's promised thing. We'll talk about it, but I want... You've said a lot of things in the last couple of days for like the what? notes. Oh, yes. I've been and just like, dropping shit in there. They're like, so Elvis twin. I, I'm so confused. The the fucking Chewbacca Twitter account, you kind of touched oh, on, yeah. but I think I talk, everyone should yeah. know about it. Yeah. Um, other things that I'll let you pick in order of how you want to read them. Uh, let's <coughs> look at what we got. Really Tristan says them. he's serious, by the way. Call me tomorrow, Creighton. Let's pump some iron. <laughs> I got off work tomorrow, he says. Oh, I'm off tomorrow, too. Well, are we all off tomorrow? That's suspicious. Something's going down. Almost like jobs. we planned it. Or we're the Umbrella Academy. <gasps> what do you mean? Like really? we're fated to, like, be together at the end of the world? <laughs> Saying the world ends tomorrow, Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. Today is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. You know, if you add the 8 and the 4 together, it's 12. Leave me here. Her. And then if you take one of the 20s out of 2020, it's 2012. So I really might pass the fuck out. Right. I also have to be up at like 7. Damn. Go to bed, Chris. And yeah, go to it's bed, It's almost Kristen. 1. Get some sleep, Just sleep. Dog. We'll miss you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Chris. And we'll be able to survive. You guys ever get... Okay. Well, there you go. What? What? What is it? Smile. You, you. <laughs> Your town is just not feeling it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> we're not feeling it most days. It's just we're all acting <laughs> on our not feeling it tomorrow. Okay, so... Oh, can we start you with the dirt bike lawnmower video? <laughs> I'm not watching the video. No, you don't have to watch it, but like, I just wanted to like share it with you because I felt like it's... How long range. is it? I think it's like a couple of seconds. Oh, like, really? Yeah, yeah. It's like not real super quick? long. It's just like, hey, I made this. Watch me cut grass with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. This might be actually... This might be worth showing everybody. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> By yeah. the way, I was just scrolling through iFunny when I saw it. And I was like, oh. Long- <laughs> what was that? It's like- oh, not only is that lawnmower fancy, but it is also the fastest, most baddest lawnmower in the entire <laughs> world. And I'm about to show y'all how to cut grass the fancy way. Alright, folks. It's time to cut the grass. <laughs> <laughs> That <laughs> is fucking amazing. He slowed it down there. Did you see for a second? So that way you could see you that, could it, was see that it was like functioning grass. as a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Marina. Hello, uh, Marina. <laughs> I'm strong. Kristen, no. Go to sleep. You are weak. You are strong if you sleep, actually. If you sleep, it's yeah, a sign of strength. Stronger. Oh, Marina, I love you. Can I post a YouTube video in the Discord and you watch it? It's honestly one of the funniest videos on the internet. It depends it, how on how long, long it is. is. Yeah. We're not doing nothing that's no 10 minutes long. That's I like, want it. That's like a fraction of our time. Yeah, we could build. Let's build a lot more like that. Build one like that? I need to show Mike that. He'll legit, he'll do it. <laughs> he'll legit be like, I, you know, we can do, there's a we can do that and it'll be so me. fun. To Who put this gecko on my thing? I love it. It was in a. Uh, it was in that bag over there of my shit from when I moved here that I just haven't touched since I moved here. That's my new favorite. And thing. I was going through it. I love this on my desk. It's 40 seconds. I posted it in podcast questions. Ooh. Ah, uh, podcast questions. What's the channel that? with virtually nothing in it. I was about to say, like, we have a podcast que- questions thing. A pod quest. We never get famous. Oh, I've seen this. I've seen this. Shit, this I should hilarious. have taken a nap before podcast. This is so hilarious. <laughs> you've seen this too, actually. I haven't. You, Yeah, you've seen this. I don't think I have. It's been a long time. You're on camera. Say something. Last night <laughs> and night before... <laughs> There was three women walking down the street that way. I saw them. I said, hey, you three women, why are y'all walking down the street that way? They're down there. I saw them. I was surprised. I said, oh, them's a bird. <laughs> I've never seen 
seen that before. <laughs> I saw it like a long time ago, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's fucking it. amazing!" That was amazing. He come up with that on the spot. On the spot, uh, too. <laughs> you want camera? Say something. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that chick on the marijuana commercials is just melting into the couch. <laughs> well, at least you're in a couch. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> melting into worse things. <laughs> like a volcano. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. How was your weekend, Charlie? It was okay. It was pretty... <laughs> it was just work. I saw you Saturday. What did we do Saturday? I forgot. I know we that went I to mariachi. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, we went. We went yeah. to a restaurant with yeah, too many people. We, dude, we were the bane of so many people's like existence in terms of their fears and worries about. We totally just absolutely did all the things you're not supposed to do right now in terms of coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> we there were. I didn't know we were walking into an, a, a thing where ten of us would be at a table. I didn't know either. It just kind of happened all of a sudden. Yeah, I didn't Kyle know. Did tell you. You I didn't know how many people were there. But also, the worst thing is, in the middle of the time we were there, Creighton was on the phone, like, "Yeah, Christian, you can show up. Just fu- yeah, there's enough. We have enough room. Bring Kira and your parents. Like, yeah, it's fu- like you're legit. Just like, yeah, <laughs> just inviting people. There's already ten of us there. No, no, I was telling because her, she didn't have Kira. They were at the lake. Creighton, I know it was it's just a, Christian. It's a joke. But what I'm saying yeah. is, there were too many people there already. Yeah. Well, she was gonna wait outside. Because you were worried about that. Yeah, Volcano was worse. you, like, went worse. out of your way to address, address me. Why are you the way that you are, Creighton? Me? Just born like it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't I felt, raised right. I felt no, very, my mom's pretty cool. I felt very looked at while we were there. Sorry, while well, we were at Because you were on the corner? No, because <laughs> there were ten of us. I meant, like, our group. Like, I felt very, like, judged from everyone else in the restaurant. Fuck them. You know what I mean? Well, no, no, no. I, f- I get what they mean. No, <laughs> I do get no, what they mean. No, look, look. We're None of us had this. masks on. We're eating. What are we supposed to do? We didn't even have masks, masks with us. No one even had a mask. Yeah. No one put one on after. No one put one out, yeah. outside when we were congregating in but a we're, small clan we're all of people. Still here. Nobody had like tested positive or anything for Corona. Not yet. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe <sighs> it's in Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Look, I get the concerns about spreading it. I'm not. Upset about that? What? I get the concerns about spreading it. I'm not upset about that, but I just like you don't all care. of us. All of us had already like either had it or like passed it by now, and within the group that we were with. Tell me that you know of that I know of. But there's a pretty good likelihood that you've already sounds had like it you guys are being rude. It. We definitely were. So my view on it is, we've got at least probably herd immunity on our side like if as far as like you know we've already probably <laughs> already had it and passed of it that's not how that works well that and all of us that were there besides you work like in the public sector all that's the time not anyway. what the problem is it's not a worry of us getting it it's the worry that there are 10 of us in one spot who have all been in contact with people for sure that have had it matt alone is the only one and then and but we've all been in contact we could all be spreading it is the problem Oh my god! I mean, like you sounds know, just plus sounds a little plus ignorant. If if yeah. they really didn't like it, they could have just asked us to leave. We would have done it. I would have. I was born immune, so I can have as much fun as I want. Fuck you, science. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, Nick. Well, also that's not how that works. Also, you were the one that was like, "Well, the death toll is like really low." No, the death toll is very high. The is death toll, high? the number is very high. It's the, it's the, the it's the whether they're lying. To it's whether they're yeah. lying about some of these deaths or not. Well, I that think I'm, they're lying. That I'm, I do too. But regardless of that, we don't know anything. Yeah. What we know for sure, or what we have been told for sure, is what they've been telling us, and that makes us look very ignorant when we go out to a restaurant with ten people. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Look, I'm very much in the gray area of this whole thing. I think there's going to be a movie. Like, have you seen The Big Short? Yeah. There's no, gonna well, be, I haven't seen it, but I know of it. I there's going to be a movie, like The Big Short, about coronavirus one day, and there's going to be one guy, one like Mark Bohm, or whoever Christian Bale's character, I forget what was his name. Dick Cheney. That's oh, no, it's nice. Movie, I hate so. you. His character found out about the housing market crash by looking into single loans in CDOs 
again and again and again and just researching and realizing there was fake money floating around out there just mm. pools and pools of giant non-money that no one was going to collect that, that people were betting on and selling to the debt for and i feel like some other person is going to go through county to county state to state and one day out and, and figure out that a lot of people that died in car crashes or died of homicide had tested positive for coronavirus and that they were marking all these deaths as covid deaths like died of coronavirus i believe that i believe i do too i i I, I know it i know it's happening with some people yeah but i don't know if those numbers are making it to the big death toll that they're presenting to us i don't know how that toll is getting caught up all i know is the death certificates of people in counties near here and in our county have been placed as coronavirus deaths put in their uh put in their in the newspaper what's it called when you die uh, obituary. Obituary. Obituaries are saying it was COVID for these people, and they were in a car, car crashes. Yeah. People who killed themselves, people uh, who, you know, tested positive for it but died of, which, like, another illness or during surgery. Which I don't understand that. Like, why are they just categorizing it like that? Uh, hospitals get paid more if they have COVID patients. Oh, okay. So if it's on their death certificate, that's more money for the hospitals. Mm. So I've been told. <clears throat> Uh, I could go for a Rona. Also, the fear mongering. Are you, uh, are you, yes, it's called like, fear mongering. They do it for clicks. Yeah, well, not just yeah, clicks, but too. but yeah, the clicks are big. It's all all money, and it's an election year. I was born. Uh, you guys should get someone who works for the CDC on the podcast. You guys could get Donald Trump on the podcast tomorrow night. We could. He's friends. We I'm could. friends with him. Apparently, yeah, honestly, according to certain friends of mine. <laughs> well, you are, aren't you? <sighs> oh my God, exactly. My mouth is so goddamn dry. Help me get some water. Get some water. <laughs> okay. So I got... Sorry. Go ahead. Um, I got three food line stories. Okay. I'm not going to tell them all tonight. Okay. But I'll let you pick which one. So... That one. No. The I'll first you, one. The what? first one you were going to say. Which one? Whichever one. Oh. Whichever no, one I'm you say gonna, first. I'm going to read... I'm telling okay. you the options. Okay. Read the options. Okay. So I got this journal that I found at Food that Line. That one. That's I've the one got over here. the food line charity event, and then I've got a Honda, or an, a thing that happened with a Honda at food line. The journal. The journal? Yeah, the first one. Okay. <laughs> I got it right here, actually. <coughs> what? Uh, yeah, I brought it. What's in it? <laughs> um, so I want to hold it. <laughs> you want to hold it? Let me see what's It's that. actually very interesting. <laughs> what? So, Do you like, know whose it is? No. We just found it out in the parking lot. And it hadn't been left there long. It was actually, I think it was in a buggy. I can't remember exactly. I think either this Tristan thing, found it or like Bradley found it. <gasps> it's mad. No, no, no. But keep, <laughs> keep keep reading. Like keep looking through the different pages. Okay, so you'll cool. see what I'm getting to. Tapping into the confidence loop, four steps. Cooking skills, breakfast. What is this? (laughs) Right? (laughs) Bro, someone wrote the shit out of this. Man dealing with depression. Yep. This is somebody's, like, catalog, like, journal that they're, like, using to... negative people. To do tips to better their life. Affects your mental state. Remove bad vibes. A A. Add positive people. Three. Take action. Get up. I don't know. Now I don't know if they found that, or if they left that for somebody to find and read those tips if they need it, or Stop if they just happen to leave it. Stop comparing yourself to other men. Quote: Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it is stupid. Albert Einstein. Think think on strategies to complete your goal more than the actual goal. Have you got how you got there is more important than getting there. Their vowels are so fucked up. Like all their vowels look like O's. <laughs> Don't compare yourself Even the Y's? <laughs> oh I'm Don't sorry. The sometime of Y's? <laughs> Don't compare yourself to their money, physical build, or Yeah, this is just a bunch of gain more focus. 
What is the math again? <laughs> what? <laughs> How to be if, wh- literally like y equals m x plus b? <laughs> like literally that kind of like like a maybe the math algebra. is a code uh, in of itself. <laughs> Sleep. Ex- how to become more productive this week? <laughs> Just this week? Why not forever? <laughs> Plan out your day. Sleep. Sleep. Exercise. What? Batch your projects and activities. B H. B A T C H. B A C H. Outsource. Look at- Hold on. Eight skills set. Eight skill sets every man needs to master. Oh my god. What is this is first first of all, the diction it is written ooh, is flawed. Ooh. Like it is so, very well organized. So batch I love this. <laughs> batch can mean arrange things in sets or groups. Okay. I knew what like a batch of things was yeah, like yeah. who's saying that? Who is this I have to we have to figure this out. Yeah. Here, yeah. Right There's here. no name anywhere in Nowhere anywhere. you checked everywhere? You can look and see. Maybe I missed something, but I don't. Charlie, see decode it. I believe in you more than I ever believed in anything other than dinosaurs. Anyway. Thank you. We found that at Food Line. That's fucking. I'm glad it's the one I picked. <laughs> but if it is, it's a. Well, what kind of math though? It could be it could calculus. Be it could be. It sounds more like college than it does. Is it college level math? Let me see. I don't know. I took some pretty dumb math my one semester of yeah. college. It was they easy. It was pre-calc? easier than half of my they, high school classes. Did they teach pre-calc in college? At college? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, they do. I never took calculus. I took calculus in college, but they also teach pre-cal in high school, too. Or they did when we were there. It's been, like, fucking five years ago. But this is, like, basic. Like, I mean... Let me look at it. For pre-cal. <coughs> What happens if we find this person? How do they leave? There's so many notes there. I, f- I feel like they're... It's got to be devastating for them to not know where this is. You know what I mean? Like, it hurts me. It makes me feel bad or, that someone wrote all... Dude, as a note taker, well, if you take all those too. notes, it is horrifying to lose that many notes. Or, or... Or... No, no, I mean, like... So? Look, 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 look. Gossip's is, fun. What, did, what if this person <laughs> left this to be found with all the quotes in it? Like, maybe they thought it would help somebody else. Or, they got super depressed and decided that none of it meant anything. Damn. That is a shitty way of looking at it. Well, it, was found, <laughs> it depends on where it was found. If it was found in a buggy, they just accidentally left maybe it. Maybe G- Jesus left it just for you. Who would, is there a grocery list in it? Noise. I don't know. But I, di- I think Bradley did find it in a, bu- in a buggy. So, I don't think it was left on purpose. Or if it was, it was. Left it's my on diary. Purpose. Please don't. Oh it was, shit! It was left on purpose to be found. Well, I must say. But I mean, there's nothing like describing personal like. Yeah, it's not. It's, the it's literally just like it's a just motivational. It's stuff. like Nesdi classified school survival guy. <laughs> like yeah. it's literally his fucking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we do have. A, we do you, have a grocery list. <laughs> One and a half town, pound of chicken. Something. Russet potatoes. Make sure your managers sauce. know. Make sure your managers know that like paper towel you have it cream. so you can return it if somebody comes asking about it. Yeah. Yeah, there was a grocery <laughs> list. You should do No, that. I am for real. Like I am. I don't Imagine writing all the imagine being in school right now and you're about to take an exam and like you need all those notes. There's gotta be like Imagine those are all notes. Imagine yeah. imagine it's like a psychology you class or so, like a, a self help better yourself thing and you like they've got all those fucking like notes. some Sherlock shit and like see like in the impression of a name or something. See look there's pages missing here. And it's been wet before. Well <laughs> Words are fun when Creighton says them. Guys, you found the ritual to summon our Lord Lucifer. First of all, he's your Lord, not mine. I I pray only to the trees. I'm upset. The trees are my gods. I'm upset there's no slam poetry in here. I'm the Unless Lorax. these recipes are slam po- poetry. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. Litter again and I'll break your fucking knees. <laughs> Dude, that, I saw that meme one time and it's like literally like on the page. They got the font and everything from the book and just replaced the words. It's amazing. I Bro, some memes. Why, why can't we just all communicate through memes? Memes are the, I mean, like, it'd be our only f- source of communication. One, two, three. 
He's your lord too, Charlie. One day you will see. We will all see. Oh, he did. Okay, this is in the finished. This is in the finished list right here. Let me see. Let me see the unfinished list. It's the eight skills. Let let me or see. Or whatever the, a man needs to be a man, and it's only six. <gasps> and one of them's marked out, so really five. What? No, six. There's six. There's six. It would be seven, but it's six. The one that's marked out would be seven. Did he write seven or eight? He wrote down seven and marked one out. No, I'm talking about at the top. It's it says to eight at the top. Yeah. Eight skills every man needs to master. And he wrote down six. Yes. Or he wrote seven. down seven and or crossed one out. one out. Manhood. Oh, books. These are books. Eight skills every man needs to master. Dash books. Manhood in the Making by David Gilmore. No More Mr. Nice Guy by Robert Glover. The... Wait, Assertiveness wait, wait, the Workbook by Christopher Catone. Whoa, I forgot I wrote that. Obstacle is the Way, Ego is the Enemy, and Stillness is the Key by Brian Holiday or Ryan Holiday. Ryan or Brian? It's either a giant B or a little B and an R coming off of it in a weird way. Mm -hmm. I think it's Ryan. I think it's Ryan Holiday. The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. Oh, shit. Two Ryan Holidays. What up? Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius? Who's that? That's the main character from Gladiator. <laughs> I'm Marcus Aurelius. Hey, you spell and that I will one? have my Avengers. M-A-R-C-U-S. No, I know how to spell that one. A-R-E-I-L-I-U-S. Uh, I didn't even see it. Give me it. A-R-E. Oh, he's a philosopher. There we go. It's the same name as the guy from Gladiator. Oh, yeah, because it's based on a real person. <laughs> is he now? Yeah. Is Gladiator based on a real it. person? Yeah, I think so. I've never seen it, actually. Here, Creighton. <sighs> we can, Charlie, but only pretends do it. Pre pre uh, but only preteens do it? We can Wait, what? April 26, 121 AD, and died March 17, 180 AD. I wonder if we can trust those dates. I don't know. Like, I mean, did like anything bones? before the last 90 years. Can we really trust, like, if they just wrote it down? History's written by the victors, right? Like, dude, I've watched Hamilton more times than I'd like to admit. And in all those times, I have started watching excerpts on YouTube of the show uh, John Adams from on HBO from back in, like, the early 2000s that starred Paul Giamatti as jo John Adams. And the version of Alexander Hamilton in that show makes him seem like an asshole. Wait, what? For who seems like an asshole? Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. In a show called John Adams. Yeah. Where John, a but but if you watch Hamilton, like you get they it. obviously like they hate, hate each, each other. other. But <clears throat> what I mean is, it's weird seeing two different versions of that based on the perspectives of two people in history. Well, do you know there's a autobiography out there for John Adams where he writes about like what it was like, you know, and everything like. I can't remember. That's how what not a biography is. Yeah. No, no but what, my mom read it, and she told me about it when she was reading it. <laughs> and apparently, according to John Adams, like, Washington was, like, a very egotistical guy and, like, you know, just kind of a dick. Hamilton was a dick. And, like, you know, apparently him and Jefferson were really good friends. So Who? Him and Jefferson. Who and Jefferson? Uh, John know, Adams? Yeah, John okay. Adams and Jefferson. <laughs> really good friends. It's hard to tell if you meant no, Washington yeah, yeah, or Adams. Yeah. But, but what I mean by that is like when you say like Marcus Aurelius died two thousand years ago, it's kind of hard to like it's it's hard to understand like how we can trust that because now we have Hamilton. Well, actually, it'd be like one thousand eight hundred seventy nine years ago. Creighton, shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, uh, you're so annoying. Sorry. So it's how do we know whether John Adams or Alexander Hamilton were the asshole who was morally oh, who or ethically right yeah. and whether Marcus Aurelius died 2,000 years ago yeah. or not? Like, it might have been 2,000 or 1,900 fucking years ago. What I'm saying is, like, we have the internet now and we have but things cataloged. Yeah, we don't know them. Yeah. But not even we don't know them. I mean, from the last 90 years, we've had the internet, we've had photos, we've had video we've had ways of recording things down factually and all we had in the day was first a fucking rock or a piece of charcoal and you wrote it on the wall and then the rock you'd etch it into stone and then statues and then you had statues and then you had a way where you could just write shit down on fucking pe a piece of tree or bark or leaves and then slowly but surely we got the paper and now the internet now the internet now the internet we have the internet and we can fucking um what 
I don't know, it's just like whenever you talk about that stuff, I imagine like like whenever you <laughs> talk about like stuff like Hamilton or like that John Adams book or that John Adams play where like, you know, Hamilton's an asshole and then the Hamilton like, you know, they're like John Adams was the asshole. I'm sure the truth is like something in between those two versions. Yeah, I'm sure you know I mean? think they were both probably great men. Yeah. And but like they both great fucking hated men each other. Fucking hated each other. Yeah. It's like Robert De Niro and uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, how they just hate each other for years and years and years because yeah. they were, like, the two Italian guys <laughs> in cinema. Like, they were wanted for everything. And then they made that movie. Did you see Grudge Match with I those two? I haven't seen it, but it's I want to. It's fucking I think I bought it. Amazing. Actually. It's so good. It's stupid how good that movie is. Or me and you. Like, we it's fucking like, hate each other. It's not, like, a good but movie. Like, you know. It's, like, a really fun, awesome, like... I never w- knew I wanted this that much. You never knew you like wanted you never to watch knew two old men fight each other? Well, you never knew that you wanted Sylvester Stallone and Robert De Niro in the same movie where they hate each other, and you go down the path of, oh, I get why, mm-hmm. and I want them both to succeed. It's like that kind of movie. It's so, it's so good. So it's like Rocky There we go. Which movie? Grudge Match. But like Rocky IV? No. Oh. <laughs> you don't want the, I go. You don't want Drago to win? I'm going to sneeze. I haven't seen it, actually. Yeah. I just was making a joke. Because Sylvester Stallone's uh, in that shit. one. Shit. I'm alive. <clears throat> um, <laughs> What? I was making a joke because Sylvester Stallone's in that one. I mean, he's in all of them, but like, I wanted to make like a really obscure one. I can't say any of the first three because everybody would like, you know. You know. No. <laughs> I have no idea what you're insinuating. <laughs> Yeah, you do. No, I really don't. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. What are you trying to say? <laughs> he doesn't even know. Oh, <laughs> I know this is off topic. I don't have but to. But have know. you guys seen the new game called Grounded? It's a game pretty much based off Honey, I Shrink the Kids. I have been watching it. My friends are obsessed. Um, It's pretty cool. It's right really up your good. alley. I want to play it. Um, um, do you want to talk about the Chinese censorship or the I Elvis did not. Twin? Fair you go. Uh, whichever one you are down to talk about. Did you know Elvis had a twin? I did not know that. Was it a girl or a boy? It's a, like they were identical twins. Elvis had an identical twin. Yes. He's alive. No, he's they dead. They killed his brother. No, no, no. He's dead. He no, died. The brothers he who died, died like originally. thirty minutes after they were born. No. Yeah. He was alive the whole time. They kept it a no. secret because they knew he was going to be famous. Bro. This is all a product of the deep state, and they knew Elvis would be a powerful person in pop culture, and they needed him. So they raised the brother separately. Another family. He was. He grew up. Looked just like him. And then when they needed. Elvis to die for the public, they killed his brother, and they left him where Elvis was. Anyways. And Elvis is still alive. <laughs> Anyways. He'd be 90. He'd be 90? He'd be like 90. He'd be 90. He'd be 90, would He'd be like. I thought he was born in the 30s. Yeah, he'd be. Close My to ninety. Was in the thirties. Was born in thirties. She's only eighty-five. That's what I'm saying. Close to ni- bro, not ninety on the fucking note. Yeah. You have to learn to understand conversation. Well, you gotta play it like the Craigslist price. We're all right. fucking twenty-year-olds, but to, we're not, but not over the actual. She's twenty-one. Price. She's twenty-two. You're twenty-three. I'm twenty-four. Like it's, we're all twenty though. We're it's all like, approaching that's what I'm thirty in your mind. No, we're all closer to twenty. Oh my god, I just hate everything. You're oh. the worst. Oh no, it's doing the thing again. Only when Kayla got close. Back away. Back away! <laughs> you just had to ride it out like a wave or a shark attack. What the fuck is this sound? It's, it's Joe. Joe Mama. <laughs> I hate this. Um, no, so the, the reason Very I'm good cheered 50 bits. Dudes, whoever you guys raised today, can you make sure it's somebody that actually speaks? <laughs> Thank you, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so the Elvis twin thing, the reason I bring it up is because I was watching an episode of Unsolved Mysteries today, and they were talking about it on there. No, no, no but li- hear me out. So apparently, like, it's one of those kind of supernatural things, but not really. Like, so you know how, like, twins have, like, that connection or whatever? Yes. So, like, because his brother passed away, like, as an infant, like, newly born infant, his brother turned into a zombie when he died and came back uh, to avenge him? No, 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 no. They were, oh, okay. But, like, you know, he lived out, like, his whole life feeling Elvis like... Elvis would be 85 today. Feeling like his brother... Oh, him and my grandma were born in the same year. That'd be cool. Apparently. That's cool. Anyways, he, he was living out his life, like, you know, with this kind of, like, chip on his shoulder, like, 
why was I the one that lived and he died? Because, like, he kept having these dreams where, like, he and his brother would be up on stage playing together. Like, you know what I mean? Like, actually, like, do, being, like, a dual, like, rock band. And, like, he he always talked to his friend because they interview, like, his friend about it. Mm-hmm. And the, he always <laughs> talked to his friend about, like, how whenever he would have these dreams, like, he would always feel this immense, like, guilt. Like, you know, like, he had somehow been responsible for his death and everything. And that's part of <laughs> that's part of why he had like a lot of he had like his good times in life, but he also had like a lot of demons that he was dealing with as well. The man was on all the drugs. Yes, dude. Do you know how like crazy he was the last few years of his life? I know. I've, he was crazy. He wore a cape on stage. That's no, I know. normal <laughs> for those kind of like for. For Pop like that time, for, not that time for like superstars. He was like the first real superstar. Yeah, he was the first like ridiculously famous. Like, dude, he did karate and didn't do it. like he was teaching karate, teaching karate. He was like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta do it like like that. He was in and, Like he was doing like he was doing crazy that. stuff. They he kept sing all his lines. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, there's a great Eddie Murphy bit. Out He'd be there, 85 in two, 12 days. Twelve days. Hey, Savannah's leaving in like 12 days. Damn, that's crazy. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you for bringing the whole mood down. That's crazy. No, I, I thought it was already that. down because Elvis died. <laughs> he died 45 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not over. It. <laughs> well, I'm sad about it, Charlie. Of course you are. <laughs> let, me, let me feel my emotions. Oh, my God. He's such a good singer. He really was, though. You know, he toured with Johnny Cash for a little bit. It's pretty cool. What's your favorite song from Elvis? I like Blue Christmas. Ain't nothing but a hound. That's a good one. But I like Blue Christmas a lot. There's some great Elvis songs. Yeah. I don't know. Hold on. Now I have to figure this out. Are you going to look I'm Elvis just going to look songs? up Elvis songs. <laughs> We're going to listen to Elvis songs for the We're next not listening to anything. hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I like Ring of Fire. I like another movie that isn't. I, I like another song that isn't even like the same guy, but. <laughs> but you know. Uh, she likes it. On stage. Um, uh, oh. A little less conversation, a little more action. Jailhouse Rock. Jailhouse Blue Rock. Blue Suede Shoes. Uh, I forgot about Jailhouse Rock. That's Bro, a little less conversation is pretty fucking legendary. Okay. Hurt. Jailhouse Rock's pretty He sings dope. Hurt? That's what it says. That's what it's Is it the same one? That's about to say Hurt, like, came out. It's not the same Hurt. 30 years? No. It's not the same Hurt. Okay, yeah. It's a different Hurt. Uh, Bridge Joel Over Troubled good. Water. What? <laughs> what? That's Elvis? Bridge Over Troubled Water. Yeah, that's Elvis. You know that, Troubled? Damn, Everybody I thought that was Simon and Garfunkel. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't know that. Everybody knows that, Charlie. Billy Joel is better than Elvis. Changed my mind. Ah, oh, Tristan. I'm with him. No, I agree. Uh, I don't like Elvis that much. Like he has it. some great songs, but like I, I much rather prefer a lot more of the people from right after him. Billy Joel, Simon and Garfunkel, The Beatles, Michael Jackson. The Beatles are alright, but I feel like they're overhyped. The what? Yeah. Dude. But it's a hot uh, take, but it's it's honest. <laughs> fine, you know what? I just don't even. Only one artist can have. Look, the Beatles are good. I'm not denying that. that. I'm not denying that. But like, you listen. If you listen to anybody like hype up the Beatles before you listen to the Beatles, you're gonna be disappointed. What? It's have you true. ever heard "Hey it's, Jude"? Have you ever sat down and listened to all I of have, "Hey Jude" I to have, completion? I have. But listen, it's the most listen, like hear get me on out, your feet and hear, lose your shit song. Hear me out. Hear me out. And they have fifty of those songs. I feel like. You should discover the Beatles on your own. Don't have somebody force it into your life, or else you will not. Be that's as everything, happy. Creighton. You will not be as happy. You obviously had somebody force Beatles onto you, and that's why your opinion on the Beatles is like no, this. No, actually, I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't have anybody force the Beatles. Then why would you assume that? You don't know. You can't speak from experience. I can't. But like I, I that's remember, true about everything. I if I, when I force everybody, Quentin's never going to watch Game of Thrones because I, I fucking yell at him. About everybody. It. Telling me how good the Beatles were, and I had, I listened to them, and I was just like, ah, I mean, like I've heard better. Like I mean, I, don't get me wrong, they're good. 
but they are overhyped. Yellow Submarine's pretty good, though. I hate that song. I hate that song. That song is terrible. What? Why you hate Yellow Submarine? The Beatles make me think of a kid who was obsessed with trains in high school. <laughs> also, that's pretty funny. Also, Creighton, this is like the first time the, I feel disappointed. Of, what's you. his name? Thank you, Fergo. Some, uh, they killed the one that one's been dead for like ever. Paul, or yeah. not Paul? Uh, John Lennon. Yeah, no, not John Lennon. The one that like Ringo Starr. He's, he's been, alive. No, no, he died. That's a fake Ringo Starr. You're thinking Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney is the one everyone thinks is fake. Oh yeah, that's the one that yeah. It's definitely yeah, yeah, you're so good at knowing. I things. don't know. Uh, look, see, that's what I'm saying. I never took the time to get to know him, even after I listened to him. You well, know? this what stand-in, does that tell you? Whoever the stand-in is is a phenomenal singer, just like he was, and sings and sounds just like he did. Yeah, because they replaced him with a clone of him. Uh-huh. Come on, Charlie. Right. Ringo Starr looks amazing what do you mean he's like 85 and he looks like he's 55 let me see look up ringo star now he looks fantastic the man still gets up what and is does he doing shit these days he's still performing really yeah he still goes and does shit <coughs> the beatles oh shit is that him see? double disappointed in ukraine <laughs> whoa you're just getting double disappointed on he does look good right for 85 he's 80 or 80 yeah you should pull up a picture of him and show the stream because that's <sighs> so much fucking typing. has he had a lot of work done i don't think so yeah paul mccartney looks rough compared to him. yeah he looks, i'm looking at it side by side he looks terrible he looks older in like his older pictures you know what i mean like in his mm-hmm. young when the pictures where he's younger well he he's got older. money bro he's got money his bro hair. his hair still looks i wonder if his hair that's got to be dyed right what if it isn't maybe if it is pretty good I'm trying to find one that's like definitely from now and not from like 40 years ago. He should go back to this look that I'm looking at right here. This one. New yeah, star then and now. When was this? <laughs> that looks like a meme. I gotta save that. Okay. This is, this, this is what I'm, I'm finding. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Ringo Star, give or take now. It's kind of hard yeah. to tell if, oh, if this is like him. That black and white picture is him now? He just is yeah, aging in reverse. Yeah, that's what's happening. Like a big old Benjamin Button thing. That's Look at that picture. That's day. No, that's John Lennon. That's not John Lennon. It looks like John Lennon. They all looked like John. They all look the same. <laughs> they were all fucking rock stars in the 70s. I'm, pre- fucking I'm pretty sure that's John Lennon, Charlie. <sighs> Creighton. John Lennon wore the glasses. Ringo Starr didn't wear glasses. Ringo Starr's literally wearing glasses in all those pictures. In these pictures, <laughs> they're sunglasses. <laughs> Queen is a thousand times better than the Beatles. Yeah, Change, no, I agree, yeah, I'm with I agree you there. with that. That's a hundred and two. Queen's, Queen's like, it's hard to find anyone better than Queen to me in terms of what they accomplished and what how good all, like, every song. is just fucking amazing. Like, maybe not literally every single song, but all their classics are classics. Like, every one of their classics is better than all the other classics. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, dude, Radio Gaga. Yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, bro. I'm going to lose my mind. Is it because of what I said about the Aval- Avril Lavigne was replaced by a doppelganger named Melissa. Yep, I believe that one too. Avril Lavigne is like Flint's favorite human being. Mm-hmm. And fucking Vanilla Ice tried to steal their instrumental fucking trash. He didn't mm-hmm. try and steal it. He was just straight up using it. A lot of people, what? A lot of people did that. To a lot of music. Half of rap is like old <laughs> backtracks to songs that they use and like repurpose. He's got a point. Have you ever listened to... He didn't to try to steal it. That's He probably bought the rights to use the beat. Have you ever listened to uh, Young Gravy? <laughs> have you, Charlie? <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Like, it, I'm, I'm trying to have a, like, a legit conversation with you. Don't get upset because... Like, what? Like Who the is name. the Gravy? Young Gravy. Who is, is Young Gravy? He's really, a really funny rapper. But he also used the bat trap from uh, Mr. Salmon. You know, the song's like... Bum, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's a really good song. Yeah. Talking about Queen, this podcast kind of reminds me of the Wayne's World. Who is Wayne and who is Garth? In this Garth scenario, Brooks? oh, who is Wayne and who's Garth in this scenario? That's what I don't know. You're I'm probably Wayne. Wayne. You're probably Wayne. Wayne. 
Like if one of us had to be one, if we each had to be one, and we couldn't yeah. both be, I think we're both Wayne more than either of us are Garth. But I think I'm more Garth than you are. I don't know. You're Garth Brooks all the time to me. It's not Garth Brooks, Creighton. Yeah. You're turning a good joke into a shitty one. <laughs> I, never, I actually haven't seen Wayne's World. Oh my god! But I'm gonna say Wayne because I relate with his energy more. Lil Pump is better than Queen Flint. You are 12. <laughs> Does it matter? They're both. Okay. I don't even know oh, who Lil Pump goes. is. <laughs> You don't, never mind. I don't even want to. I don't know who Lil Pump is. So. I probably have listened to him before, but you know. What? So you get mad when I say Lil, like, uh, Young Gravy, but you won't, like. Lil Pump get upset is a shit rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Sometimes you say things, <laughs> and I just have to sit here and, like, try and. Well, I don't I'm really good at hearing people's perspective from their perspective and like being able to get but sometimes you say things so well, I just know little peep I know little peep I don't know little Paul. <laughs> and I know young gravy I forgot my name uh, isn't somebody milk who you don't service. know apparently and thought I was making my it up my name is milk fucking asshole so Lil Wayne is trash changed my mind that's crazy Lil Wayne or a lot of Wayne <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of Wayne here lately <laughs> you know because of the hurricane <laughs> uh, do you like Cardi B yeah she's cool yeah. she's alright what about Nicki Minaj? Come on, Charlie. I think we need to make an intervention. We all we all agree you're you're Linda. I'm Linda. <laughs> yeah, you're Linda. Angry Charlie. <laughs> Fuck Cardi B. What's wrong with Cardi? B? Oh, ah, okay. Well, I guess Cardi B sucks. She, My yeah, bad, guys. She's like, she said something a while back or something. What she said? She said something racist or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I like racist Nicki Minaj. towards who? I don't know. Fuck. I, don't, I didn't read the story. I saw the headline and I just skimmed she's through a piece it. Of I didn't shit care. Person. Okay. I don't care. We all agree you're kind of intolerant to things you don't know. Everyone's intolerant to things they yeah. don't know. <laughs> they don't know them. <laughs> what do you say? Also, but you're kind drugged of being a dude, an asshole, raped him, and stole from him. Damn. Damn. Okay. Well, there you go. That's okay. I don't yeah. like Cardi B. <laughs> yeah. I and I stand by that I statement. Hate, I hate for the now. people too who are like, you can't rape a guy. Like, I think that's dumb. <laughs> I'm just not gonna touch it. You're not gonna touch it. I just don't. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna leave this one alone. You leave that one alone. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one alone today. Wait, you you don't. Agree? It's like a hot. It's not that I don't agree. I just I don't want to get into it. Oh, oh I get it's you. like a hot button. I got you. I, I'd rather I just you. leave it alone for now. And her music is shit. Her know. music's alright. I've heard a couple. Got, I've heard a couple bops, as the kids songs. say. I like the one where she raps in Spanish. I yeah, know. I like Hispanic. I like Hispanic rap a yeah. lot. Like it's I don't really good. My I don't dad, know what you're saying. I was but listening. I'm down for I was listening. Yeah, I was listening to it one time, and my dad was there, and he was like, "How do you enjoy this?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "You don't even know what they're saying." I was like, "It just sounds really good." Yeah. Like, what the fuck do you want <laughs> from me? Like, I was like, "I just want to hear it. It sounds cool." As the kids say, "Old man." Yeah, you Charlie, did say as the kids Charlie. say. I always say that. That's because you're old. I am old. You're older than me. Yeah. Well, it's, wow. <laughs> it's crazy. That's wild. You're ancient. Uh huh. How long did it take you to walk to school? And was it uphill both ways? <laughs> what was the Great Depression like, Charlie? It was fun. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty fun for me. Charlie, you're fucking old as shit, Nick. You're literally like we're the same age. <laughs> Do you miss voting for Eisenhower? I'm gonna get a lot of flight for this, but oh, a lot. Hey. Of female rappers are kind of trash. They're basically mumble rappers, but get more clout because they're women. What? Just say who. She has to pee. Who? Who do you think? Do you have to? The <laughs> well, one the two people here. The one with the smallest bladder. <laughs> nah, man. Some people are interested in things they don't know and encourage those controver those conversations. Ever since I started watching, who are. Who are this gorilla, who are these gorilla guys? No way I'm watching the lobster. Who is this little barbecue guy? <laughs> Gravy. <laughs> uh, 
that's crazy yeah, yeah you do you do come off as offensive to like on the offense about things you don't know well, i think not, it's just because they make you feel I'm, small no it's when you are you know what <laughs> get over there get over there he's going <laughs> okay this is kyle everybody kyle's our like behind the scenes analyst <clears throat> How's your day going, Kyle? I mean... You need a mic. You don't have a mic. <laughs> How's your day? <laughs> I mean, it's going all right. What are you up to today? I was asleep. You were I had work. <laughs> and, and I was work? asleep at work. Oh, really? In the dryer? <laughs> the best pl- <laughs> it's the best place to sleep. <laughs> Tristan said, hello, Kyle. Nick said, hello. And hello. <laughs> And no one else cares. <laughs> no, well, I was just I'm catching up on chat here. Oh, that's probably no, it's still that shit we were talking shit to Charlie about. But yeah. yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. When he comes back, just just act like it never happened. Oh, okay, and just be on to something else. Oh, you want to talk about? Let's see here. What do I got here? Oh God, he's back. You want to talk about Chinese censorship? Sure. What's it about? Okay, so Chinese censorship. Oh, thank God. This uh, <laughs> Charlie's back. Get out of the fucking way! <laughs> Jesus. Where are these? Well, you better smack him. Smack the fuck out of him. Do it. Smack the fuck out of him. Live on camera. Live on stream. <laughs> the smack. I slid a lot of them. Not all of them. There are, of course, gems. Wait. Uh. So. Chinese censorship? So I was listening to an interview the other day. A mm-hmm. uh, movie producer. Which one? And, uh, I can't remember. Charlie gets smacked at 10 subs. He helped um, a lot in like the late 90s or 2000s with them to get to release stuff in China. Who? Who is it? I, I don't remember who it is exactly. I had to look it up. Fuck, I should have wrote down his name. Um, but he was talking about like how in China that like, you know, Red Dawn, like the remake that came out recently? Yeah. So, in the original cut of that movie, that's the Chinese that are invading America. In the original cut, it's Russians. You mean the original cut of the more recent movie? Yes. Okay. And like, not Koreans. Yeah. It's China. Okay. And I might have this mixed up. It could have been the old one. I'm not 110% sure. <laughs> but they had to re-edit it into North Korea or like a North Korean-like uh, so that they could release um, it in China yes, and make the money. Because the there are a CCP lot of movies that have whole like Asian characters and plots in them mm-hmm. that we never have seen because they're made just for the Chinese releases of all of those. Well, they, he was talking about the things that they cut out because they don't like either like the way China's represented or yeah. they don't like how America's represented. Yep. And it's like it's crazy to me because I'm like there's like whole different versions of all the MCU movies. Yeah, and like they're they're um (coughs) they're really trying to like crack down on that because they were going to release a movie that had nothing to do with China. That China was like, oh, we're not going to show this because this has something like that we don't approve of in our country. I think it was like um something where like people were rising up against government or something like that. And like we, they were like, Makes yeah, sense. we don't support that in our country. So like, you can't release that on your in your country. Yeah, it was like a whole thing. And he, they were like, yeah, no, that's fucking like stupid. Yeah, we're not. So they had to kind of like fix that. And they're they're working on it now, but it's still like, it's still rough. Yeah, that's weird. It must be a license. If they're having any issues, and it's actually. Like standing, like it's ground they can stand on. It's because there's probably licensing issues with whatever oh, yeah. the movie's about. Well, this guy was really interesting because he talked about. Fuck! I wish I had wrote down like what his name is. Oh, I'm very excited for the Snyder Cut. Oh yeah, me too. I want to see what it's gonna be like. Did you what guys you see the movie like? The Great Wall with Matt Damon? I watched the YouTube clips like on Fandango where it's like movie clip one out of ten to like watch all the plot points. It looks so bad. Does it? It's just. What is it called? It's called the Wall or the Great the Great Wall with Matt Damon. Matt Damon oh, and Pedro oh, Pascal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about the Chinese Wall and like. And yeah. how like back in the day it was to keep out, keep out monsters. these weird monster thing is just horrible. The whole thing is so bad. What are you watching? Is I'm trying it, to. Are you trying to find the interview yeah. to find the person? Yeah. 
Go ahead. What were you saying? It's just terrible. The whole movie is like just garbage. <laughs> it's like not even kind of. In oh, you watch good. like the cliff notes or whatever. Yeah, I watched the like thirty minute version where you watch the three minute clips. Mm-hmm. There's like eight or ten. Sometimes there's like twelve. It depends on it depends on the movie. It depends on like what. And it's got who in it? Matt Damon. Matt Damon, Pedro Pascal, a lot of people. So he just did that movie for a paycheck. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there might have been a cool version of the movie somewhere that was nice on the cutting room floor that they ended up having to chop up into shit because of executives and like all these people that you know mm. end up having control in these big blockbuster movies it that's why so like, many movies get so shitty is because like people think they're going to be good like executives think they're going to be good when in reality you want people who are good at making movies making movies it did sound like something he would be in though like it's cause, Matt like, Damon yeah because he started doing stuff more like uh, Interstellar, or no, not Interstellar. Um, The Martian. The Martian, and kind of like stuff that's not like. How do I put it? That's kind of more leaning to. Not to fictional stuff. Nonfiction. No, nonfiction is the one that's real. Fiction yeah. is the one. That's well, fiction. The Martian is realistic. It's realistic, but it's still sort of like. Well, he's done a lot sci-fi. of. I mean, the Born Born movies are yeah. fiction. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, like everything. Goodwill Hunting, Rounders. It's all no, he never Goodwill has. Hunting isn't really like. It's not based on anything or anybody. It's not, but it's like. It's grounded. It would be crazy. It's grounded. Yeah. yeah, like The Martian. Yeah, but I feel and like Rounders the, the and all like more uh, and Born off Identity. The wall. Well, the wall is, but I'm saying but, like, um, you were you were putting <laughs> The Martian in the same category as. The I'm not Great putting wall. it in the same category. You're saying I'm it's saying more it's like those are the movies in, he on does. the in between, sort of like it's like. You're slowly going. I think it was a paycheck. I think this one was just a paycheck he was taking. But I also believe that Matt Matt Damon doesn't have like shitty movies under his belt. The only ones that you could really qualify as shitty movies are like the Kevin Smith movies he makes, and they're like made to be Kevin Smith movies. Yeah, he's been in a bunch of them. They're like, but they're like made to be funny joke movies. Dude, you've never seen Dogma? Have you seen? (gasps) We have to watch Dogma. What's that about? It's. Oh, what is Dogma about? Hold is that on, the yeah, movie me... where the dogs are on the island? No. That's Isle of Dogs. Oh. We'll see how it's close. No, you weren't. No, I said, is that the, like, you know, as it's close to the name of the actual movie. You were 25% of the way to the ac- name of the actual movie. It says that the movie with the dogs on the island, he said that's the Isle of Dogs. The much. Isle of Dogs. That's four. Dogs is one. Dogma is half. <laughs> you got twenty five percent, kind of 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 a name. Oh, you're doing weird, man. Two fallen angels who were ejected from paradise find themselves banned in Wisconsin. They are now headed to New Jersey, where they find a loophole that can get them back into heaven. The only catch is that it will destroy humanity. A group bands together to stop them. That's what Dogma's about. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon play the two angels. Damn. It's amazing. Ben Affleck, and Matt. It is such a good movie. Kevin Smith, uh, Chasing Amy was like Ben Affleck's first big movie where he's like the main guy, and that's that's a Kevin Smith movie. Was it Chasing what? Chasing Amy. Do you guys see NASA is sending another space rover to search for ancient life on Mars? That's cool. I want to write it. I saw the thing about the face on Mars. Apparently. Matt Damon was making yeah, we, small appearances and random shit. On TV. Like he was in... Yeah, because we were talking about movie. that at the beach. <laughs> Yeah, it's not for no reason. He has become such like that status character in Hollywood that he's has just he? this. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, he's in a uh, which one? He's in Guardians of the Galaxy two. Him and what's his name hate each other. What? Um, Jimmy Kimmel. Yes. Yeah. Matt Damon. Not really. Matt Damon's in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's in a bunch of MCU movies. Who's he in Guardians? He's of the the, ca- he's the old country dude on the back of the truck in the like one of the opening shots when ego crashes am i thinking of the right movie i think i'm thinking of the right movie it's an mcu movie i think this is important what if they find proof yeah what if they do find proof i mean they already know there's there's water there i mean if water's there's almost for sure there was life there that's Deadpool 2. Sorry, Deadpool 2. he's in deadpool 2. thank you thank you i knew i was wrong yeah he's what i'm saying brad pitt also is in deadpool 2. they're both in deadpool 2. Matt Damon's in Deadpool 2. He's in uh, Who's Thor in Ragnarok. He's is in that the thing where he's sitting on the truck and the guy crashed? Yeah, oh, oh, that's in Deadpool 2. Oh, yes, yes, because yeah. he's when like... When Cable lands. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that's you, that's I got Matt Damon. Yeah, yeah. He that's does a lot of shit. Like, he does a lot crashing? of like little moments like that like in movies. 
Because he's friends with everybody. He's like friends with everyone in Hollywood. I can't find this. Video. Like him and John Krasinski are friends. Ooh, this might be it. Burt Kreischer? Kreischer? Burt Kreischer. What about him? Is this the guy that's producer? This might be it. He's a comedian. He's a stand-up comedian. He's one of the most famous ones in the world. Let me see what you're looking at. Uh, look, because it was on a Woody and Wilcox interview that I heard th- about this. Oh my god! I'm just looking at iHeartRadio to see if this is on there. That might have been it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he was talking about that here. <laughs> I mean, he's he's the machine. Have you ever heard of the machine? The comedian, the machine. Uh huh. That's Burt Kreischer. What is? What does he do? Like, what's his, a what's com- he machine? Uh, he. He went to when he was in college. He uh, went to Russia on a field trip with his class to get a credit for, like his class needed like ten people, mm-hmm. and he was the tenth person. And his teacher said, "Look, if you take the class, I'll pass you. You'll have a passing grade in Russian for four years straight if you take it, just so I can continue the class." And he was like, "Bet." He literally showed up, did nothing, never learned Russian, and passed the whole time. In the last year, he was gonna like they were gonna go to Russia as like a class thing. He was like, "Fuck yeah, let's go to Russia." Mm-hmm. He goes to Russia. And he accidentally becomes friends with the Russian mafia and they rob a train and he becomes friends with them and they hang out and long story short, they start calling him the machine because he accidentally says, I'm the machine in Russian because he's trying to ask them something and they think it's so funny and he drinks a lot with them and they just like give him out, give him vodka and have a party and then they just all go crazy and lose their shit and rob a train and like do all this other amazing shit. And they own the police. Like it's it's this crazy story that has been corroborated by people in Russia in the com- in like the late in the years like since it happened by people who so were there. So is he like wanted in Russia now? Or? Huh? Oh, so it's they, all good. they didn't give a fuck. Yeah, the mafia owns yeah. everything. <laughs> like, like they were cool with it. And he just tells this story. It's like his. Mo- it's he's the machine. He's Burt Kreischer the machine. It's amazing. She has tickets to the show. Really? When's he doing a show? Well. Yeah, it's good. it's still postponed. Did you get them for Charlie, or you just happen to have those on hand? Oh, that's cool. That's Deadpool. Th- oh, two. Oh, and really? this like you by yourself, Thor. Oh. <laughs> and this no, Ragnarok, Thor. Fuck you, want you to. out of credit. That's cool. That's that's like you know I never do that. Just buy tickets. And I'm like, all right, I got one just in case. <laughs> I like I how start doing that. I like how we said vodka. Huh. Me neither. It's so boring doing shit alone. Like, I could go see a movie alone, but, yeah. like, only a movie that, like, you go see alone. Like, I could go watch, like, Good Will Hunting or, 19, or 19, 1917, 17, whatever. Dude, like that it. movie. I know. You were, we were talking about the other day, and we you're guys. like, remember when we went to go see it? I said, no, you guys, you ditched me to go see it with Nathan. Who was Nathan. it? Nathan. It was me, Nathan. Yeah. Fucking loser. And Quentin? No, just you and Nathan, I think. I don't think so. I think so. No, I think Quentin went with us. Or was it a uh, bumper? Wasn't bumper in town? Bumper too? was not in town. Bumper's but never been in town. Somebody was in for town. This. That like you were like this is the last time he'll ever be here. Or something oh, like that. it was when Shake was here. Me and Shake went and saw it, with and Nathan, Nathan didn't go. Oh, Nathan did. Yeah, Nathan hated us. Oh, I hate you too. I know. But it's unrelated. I mean, it's a little <laughs> bit also, related, but like you know, they're also building robotic explorers to go look at the Trojan asteroids to help better understand how our solar system formed. Are they going to go look at the face on Mars? Do we know who they are? I don't know. I hope they do. They need to. Noise. Cosmology is well, they, they're acting like it's nothing. Yeah. Well, we're no, we're going to we're gonna have people on Mars inside of 20 years. That's good. Um, That's definitely Well, well I was going to say to what she's saying, uh, they're... The they're like officially the statement is like the face on Mars isn't like you know actually a face it's a trick of the light or whatever but they've been monitoring it for like ever since they discovered it you know what I mean so well, they're like, probably monitoring everything on Mars ever since they no, discovered no no but it. I mean like they specifically there's a way there's something that somebody brought up in an interview but like there's like a way that they specifically go out of their way to make to like do research on this thing like they've done like. There's some sort of thing with sonar that they've done to like look at the ground underneath or whatever, and like everything around it um, is like blue, but the whole face itself is like orange underneath. And like apparently that's some way to show like this land was eroded over time naturally, and then this land wasn't. You know, it's like something made that. We moved it. 
or an Possibly. asteroid did, or or aliens did, or aliens totally did. Also, there's py- pyramids on Mars. Apparently. I think we just know aliens. I think there are aliens here with us. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think that's definitely, definitely a thing. What that if the aliens are stuck here with us? <laughs> like I don't think they're stuck. I think they're, I think they're here like protecting us from ourselves. Why haven't they killed us yet? I don't think they want to. I think they want us to get no, better. I'm talking about me and you specifically, because this just isn't helping mankind at all. This show is just like is. I it's think that I, I think we balance each other out. I think me trying to keep you somewhat on the logical side of every argument, at the very least, balances the absolute absurdity of everything you say to the point where we just don't even pop up on their radar. We are perfectly balanced in terms of we're yin and yang. You're crazy. No, sure, but no. Fuck you for <laughs> assuming we're yin and yang. How dare you use that sacred, <laughs> that sacred. Fucking or oh, I'm or so Kyle and Savannah are, are aliens here to monitor us. It checks and out. And they're gonna kill us if we step out of line. And they're gonna they're gonna kill us if we step out of line. But for real, man, I think I'm gonna get some vodka. Flint, go get some. You always have vodka. I I'm, I'm surprised you don't Russia. already have vodka. <laughs> you know it's crazy. They sell liquor in grocery stores in their states, but they don't hear. That's sad to me. They don't hear. They don't hear. Like anywhere? That's why there's a whole separate liquor store from the grocery store. Well, they sell alcohol. We they sell, sell wine, wine and beer and, and shit. Beer, but it's nothing compared to liquor. I guess. I mean, if you can go to the grocery store, you can still go to the liquor store. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can, but the liquor store closes at seven, and they're not allowed to sell on Sunday. You grocery store. Buy everything you can ahead just of time. Buy it on time, like buy any time. Well, relatively, I know Corona is limited stuff, but like you know, before. Corona, you could buy it anytime, anywhere from your local Walmart, depending on what state you live in. <clears throat> I assume. I don't know. Maybe Walmart doesn't carry liquor. It's probably good that they don't carry liquor. Oh, maybe. But like you know, I want to. It's go probably good that most grocery stores don't carry liquor. I want to go. A lot of people. A lot place. of people. That, a lot of homeless people that just get the money to go buy oh, liquor yeah, and I then drink you. would go drink at Walmart and go to these places that have liquor. But I want to drink my whiskey and buy me some ramen at the same time. Is that right? Yeah. It's in the same place. So that way you can get more drinking time. You want to drink whiskey and buy ramen. And potentially buy... So you want to go uh, to the liquor store, get whiskey, drink the whiskey at the store, and buy ramen drunk. And potentially buy a dirt bike with a lawnmower. you're a bad example. Or buy a dirt bike with a lawnmower attached to it. He's a bad example. I can't, you can't be arrested for a DUI if you're driving a dirt bike cutting your grass and drinking. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Shake. So, how long do you usually do a podcast? <laughs> like 40 to 50 more minutes is the maximum. Shake. Shake and Nathan are very. Uh, they're waiting for me so that they can finish the last episode of True Detective. Oh, yeah. Because they've been watching the whole season, and I told them I just wanted to watch the last episode with them. The first season of True Detective is the greatest single season of television I've ever watched. It. It's so good. You'd love it. It's Matthew McConaughey it's and Woody Harrelson. Matthew McConaughey. And Woody Harrelson. And Woody Harrelson. They both play detectives who are partners, and um, they're looking for this, like, ritualistic killer who's a serial killer. It's it's amazing. You got to watch The Highwayman. I know, the movie. It's a movie, yeah. right? Not a series. Yeah, yeah I know. Movie. I'm going to I'm going to watch it. It can will we, happen one day. Can we watch a clip after this? Potentially. It's a, it's the clip that it's a clip that like so I've seen Woody Harrelson act before, but this is the clip that I'm like, "Oh my god, like this guy can fucking act." You know? In The mean? Highwayman? Yeah. That's where you fi- watch True Detective if you want to see him act. Well, no, no, no. But Some he- of the best acting he's ever done is in True Detective season one, and I mean, really, a lot of he's a great actor regardless. But True Detective season one specifically, but he also fucking in the Highwayman crushes it. He crushes it in Highwayman too. Call me, wait, Callie McFlurry. What a great name! Have you watched Hannibal? I watched the first season of Hannibal when it was like. Like coming out, like when it came out for like alive. On HBO. No, it's not HBO. What is it? An- it's like Hannibal Showtime is. Or yeah, it's like a TV. Ch- it's like a normal TV channel. Oh, it's is like, it? Yeah, I could watch oh. it. This was back when it was like live on Directv, and I still had Directv. Mm. Oh shit. And uh, it it was, I liked it a lot in the beginning, but it started getting 
real weird. And well, I was just a show not about, about Hannibal it. named Hannibal. Well, yeah, but it got like it got weird, weird, like 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 unrealistic in lots of ways, weird. Nice. Uh, but I liked it. I it was fucked up in a way that I'd probably appreciate way more now than I did when it was coming out. Are we talking about like American Horror Story fucked up? I don't know. I didn't watch that one. It's, I'm, I, I mean, don't like scary good, shit. But it's like you wouldn't like it. Yeah, I don't like scary shit. Because it's scary. Yeah, I don't and like scary bitch. things. And I'm a bitch. I don't like any scary shit. You that, the Haunting of Hill House? Dude, Michael's girlfriend was watching The Haunting of Hill House at their place one night. Uh-huh. And Michael was like taking a shower and we were just hanging out like waiting for him to get back. And like Something she was happened. like, I'm going to watch this show. So you're going to have to sit here and watch it or just leave. And I was like, fuck. She was like, I've seen it like 10 times. We can just talk while it's on in the background. And I was like, well, then why can't we just change it? And she was like, because fuck you. And I was like, fine, well, fuck. <laughs> so we're just sitting there watching it. And the first episode's pretty, like, not scary until the last, like, few moments. And I was like, fuck. Like, I was losing it. Like, yeah, like, I got sucked into it, though, for that first For that bit. first episode. But as soon as the scary thing happened, I was like, oh, yeah, no, I don't need any more. This is fine. <laughs> I don't have to watch it ever again. That's what happened? I, like, it, uh, fucking homeboy, this guy, one of the kids of the Hill House where they grew I think they grew up at the place or something. The, and there's like an understanding that everything's fucked up there that like they're all like calling each other because they're like seeing shit or something and they're like hey shit's going down we gotta go to the house and he's like nah fuck you I'm living my life and he goes home to see his girlfriend and like she's sitting there and she's like not talking to him but he's talking to her and he's not really realizing that she's not talking to him kind of like in the sixth sense spoiler alert mm-hmm. where uh, all the scenes with Bruce Willis and his wife like she never talks to him mm-hmm. and he's trying like to talk to her and he thinks she's like just giving him the cold shoulder yeah and in this, like, he looks at her and he realizes she's not talking. He's like, are you okay? And her face, like, fucking starts to, like, she, like, starts screaming. But, like, it's, like, implosive screaming. She's not even screaming. It's just her face is, like, making the scream. But, like, like, <gasps> yeah, like, like that. But she's, yeah. like, it looks like. And then, like, her face starts to, like, devolve away and, like, melt and turn to this, like, demon-looking thing. And she just, like, disappears. And I was like, nope. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with it. That's what I remember. I don't remember if that's so exactly how it went So for the rest of the episode, everything was normal. Well, not up normal. It was still set up as a very scary thing. Callie McFlurry, thank you for the follow. I've been watching it on Netflix, but the cooking scenes, but <laughs> the cooking but the cooking scene. scenes immaculate. <laughs> Opinions on bad horror movies. I like funny horror. I like scary movie. Scary movies are hilarious. The scary scream movies are low key pretty funny. Like the little bit of Final Destination I've seen is pretty funny. There are uh, some like suspense movies I like, like Signs. Dude, have you seen it yet? Have we or, seen that or Six it? Sense? Six Sense is bordering. Like Six Sense was enough for me not to watch it lo- a long time ago, oh, and really? to finally have watched it like in the last three or four years. Did it scare you? It scared me a little bit, but only in the, the moments scene, where it's like jump scary. Like the scene where he gets up to go use the bathroom. When he, he looks under the bed, that was the f- most fucked up. Like holy shit moment for me. I forgot about the scene where he looks under the bed. It's the, the 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 little girl. And she's like got vomit coming off of her face and like blood because she's like she died. It's uh, it's tough. It, it's I think terrifying. just ghost children. Cabin scary. in the Woods is dope. I love Cabin. I didn't watch Sharknado. Sharknado is like so dumb that I don't want to watch it. <laughs> Doctor Sleep is good. You've told me I have to watch The Shining first, and I'm I know the problem is I'm a baby back bitch. Yeah, and I cannot handle it. Huh? Yeah, Sign? Shining really. Shining? It's, well, well, not so, to you. Like, it's scary, but it's not <laughs> I'm scary. I'm a bitch. Yeah, you are. I'm a little bitch. Look, like, Shining's signs... more of like a... Like, like a, I get fucked thing? up watching... Like, I have to watch signs at, like, 2 in the afternoon with the sun out, with the windows open, holding my dog. There's, with, like, a masseuse massaging my shoulders. Like, 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 <laughs> like I can't even... There's parts of the Shiny they'll make you laugh, though. Like, because, uh, you know, that part where Danny's just, like, fucking freaking out? And he's like... Oh, the Shining like, is good because of the acting. Well, yeah, the Shining's really good because of the acting. See, that's what I'm saying. It's not you scary. Would like it. I hate horror movies, and The Shining is not scary. Look, dude, not to you. It's scary, but it's not scary. I'm a different kind of bitch, okay? I can't handle things. The scariest part of The Shining is the soundtrack. Dude, the soundtrack's so good. I love the... Dude, in yeah, Ready Player bum, One... Bum, have you watched Ready Player bum, One yet? Yeah. Bro, when they go to The Shining in Ready and Player that, One... that noise, like the... Dun, the dun, score dun, and, like, the dun, the mix dun. of the modern animation in the theme and oh, setting yeah. of The Shining is fucking unma... It's immaculate. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's, like... It's seamless. Like, they're in that room. Like, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Do you like anime? I have watched some anime. Kyle, have you seen Doctor Sleep? 
but I'm not a big anime fan. Like, I'm not like, a, oh, yeah, I like anime. Like, I've watched some anime stuff I like, but overall, I don't watch a lot of anime, no. Hmm? I'm not like a hater, but I'm also not like a lover. Like, I can pull it up anywhere I don't really and we can watch it. That'd be all right. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, So, you still haven't seen Signs, right? No. Well, yes and no. I know what it is. I, I've seen we, the all those clips. We should watch Signs. Signs is I like, feel like I just wouldn't have a good time because I already know what it is. And how what do you mean ends. you know what it is? Like aliens and their weakness is water. That's not the movie's about though. I mean, I know it's about like because it, who it's um, Mel Gibson, Joaquin Phoenix, uh, M Night Shyamalan. Who else? Joaquin Phoenix and Mel Gibson. And they're like boarded up in a house, right? At one point. Well, that's not like the whole movie. Like aliens no. arrive and they're like, "What the fuck are we gonna do?" They board up the house. There's like a scene where like he's in the room with the. That's daughter. what the movie is disguised as. The movie it's a movie about faith and like, like belief and whether you should or shouldn't and why and why and how and all why that. and how and it's when like and what is belief and what like what whether you believe in a like a monothe mono. Monolithic God? What is it when you believe in one God? Uh, Monotheism? Yeah. Am I saying that right, guys? Yeah. Someone in chat probably knows. Monogamy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you idiot. Uh, it's Mel Gibson's character. I don't want to say why, because the, the thing that is the real... Well, like, didn't his wife die or something, and he's like lost his faith a little bit? Yes, but... That's, there's more to it than that. There's a lot to it. It's a really good to me it's better than the sixth sense when it comes to m night Shyamalan. like i think because the sixth sense was like it was not that it was ruined for me it's that like it didn't it wasn't as much of a for me the moments when bruce willis is talking to his wife were so weird that i was like what is happening so when mm -hmm. it finally was i was like oh that explains that like it it wasn't like <gasps> he was dead the whole time it was like Oh, okay, he was dead the whole time. <laughs> like, it wasn't it, this big, giant, crazy thing to me like it was for everyone else. Like, the music's great, and, like, the way it's delivered is like, oh, yeah, it's fucking, that's a great, like, I'm not denying it's amazing, his fucking style. Just for me in the movie, I was struggling so hard to want to watch it because of how scary it was for me that when that finally happened, I was like, oh, okay. With Signs, I was like, okay. So then throughout the whole movie what it is trying to tell you is so it's so much of a it's such a it's good such message, a good message yeah. it's a really great i'll watch it if you watch the shining with monolithic me suppressor <laughs> thank you flan for your Quentin, fucking I mean, quentin charlie what? i'll watch it i'll watch it with you if okay. you watch the shining with me not before like you know it can be whenever you choose maybe Whatever. We'll all get together and watch it, and we'll hold your hands and whatever else. I'm in the minority, but I fucking love the village. It's so beautiful and, and sad. Your I, you're not in the minority. I think that it has a cult following more what, than it village? has a group of. Yeah, I the, remember when the village came out. Apparently, it's amazing. Is it? It's an M Night Shyamalan movie. Apparently, it's phenomenal. Shyamalan Ding Dong. M Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but the room, M not M the rape Shyamalan one, Ding but Ding. the funny one is terribly great. <laughs> yeah, I look. I like the room. The rape one, <laughs> which sounds horrible when you say it oh. in those words. The movie with Brie Larson where she wins the Oscar. Yeah, I like that movie, Room. The Room, the one you like with Tommy yes. Wiseau. Tommy uh, Wiseau. Wiseau, Watch whatever. Wissa. Tommy Wissa. Uh, that movie everyone it. else loves. I don't really like. It's amazing. I've though. tried. In I just can't. I just this can't. man followed his dream uh -huh. from Partson <laughs> to wherever he is now. I he think. made... Uh, a sequel or something called like Best Friends or something. But this real Hollywood movie. movie. We use green screen. We don't need Alley. We make Alley. <laughs> <laughs> Evie shut the briefcase. <laughs> Evie, you did it. Why are you surprised? Good job, Evie. <laughs> Watch her lay on the briefcase now. She'll do that. She's probably mad that she can't get back in the briefcase. <laughs> she pooped her nose on it. <laughs> She's like... Fuck, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> the briefcase was my map, and the map is closed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you don't know how to get to the Is start the village the one with the blind chick? <laughs> I haven't watched the village. I've just heard it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, What's there you the go. village about? Is it about a village? <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. There's towers in it and shit, right? I don't know. Then there's hoods. 
I don't know. The village. I saw the village at one point when I was like eight or nine, and it scared me, so I stopped watching. I think you watched it when you were much older. No, I don't it, think it's that old. When when did the village come out? Let's well, look it up. It's a movie. A village. Two thousand four. Yeah, that way lines up. How old up. would we have been? In two thousand five, I was eight. So that lines up. Two thousand five, you were eight. Yeah, oh, okay, I was yeah. Born in 97. I was like, in two thousand four, I was eight. <laughs> but I was like, wait a second. Yeah, that, bit, that checks that out. Lines out yeah. That movie's way older than I thought it was. Yeah, it's fucking old. I told you. You didn't believe. Who's me. in it? Sometimes I didn't believe you. I just thought it was Jesse Eisenberg's I thought you were wrong. in it. He is yeah, very young, Jesse Eisenberg. But yeah, Jamie Jamison, whoever that is. Bryce Dallas Howard, Joaquin Phoenix, Adrian Brody, Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, she's hot. Jesse Eisenberg. Damn. Yeah, bro. Brendan Gleeson. Who else did you think was in this? Well, I didn't know anybody that was in it. I just didn't you know. You never looked? No. I never cared. Oh, she's the bad guy from... Paul. Uh, fucking... Paul. Who? Paul. What are you talking about? The movie about? Paul. Sigourney Weaver. She's the bad yeah, guy Yeah, but she's Paul. also the bad guy in Defenders. Oh, yeah. She's great in Defenders. Cult, monster, blind chick, park equals the village. <laughs> there you go. William Hurt. You guys are so Judy old. Greer, Michael Pitt. Frank Kranz. I want to know more about him. I like his name. Uh, Cecil Weston. <laughs> Cherry Jones. Frank Collison. You having fun reading the I entire am. cast list? I am. I'm looking. Of people we don't know. Charlie McDern. He's credited as a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> Anyway, John Christopher. Oh my God, Creighton, please! There's only so much podcast that we can have that is just absolute. De- Evie, Scott Sauer. What are you eating? She got the. <gasps> <laughs> what is in there? What is she eating or looking? She got the pistachios. Oh my God, Evie! <laughs> At least she didn't get in the chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. She just fucking ate that shit. She's she was like, gone. Nom, nom. She I was like, what is she over there eating? It looked like she she, she was definitely got some pistachios because she was like doing that chewy thing to the shells. Uh, it was high key great, but yeah, me too. Jesse Heisenberg. Yeah. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. That's what I said. Listen here, Brian. <laughs> cool. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did wheat you see thins. the one where he did it with uh, fucking p- wheat, wheat thins? No, he did it with what's his name from Star Trek. Uh, the ones that we, the one that we played Patrick last time. Patrick Stewart. Yeah, he did it with Patrick Stewart. He's like, "Why are you saying it like that?" He's like, you know, "Why are you saying it?" Like he's like that? with the whole cast of Star Trek, <laughs> and like he's. Oh he's yeah, he's Will got Heaton. them all, and he's like taking yeah. them to get food. <laughs> like, what is Will Heaton? What? <laughs> he's like, what? Why are you saying it like <laughs> that? He's like, say wheat, <laughs> wheat. And say Wheaton, Wheaton, Will Wheaton, Will Wheaton, bro, it's so good. <laughs> Family Guy is the king of return shitty jokes that are yeah. like so unmatched in how good they are presented. Then there's Peta and Peta, you know. Okay, controversial question, but soup, good or bad? Soup. I hate soup. I like soup. I like that soup. checks out. What do you mean? Is if I don't like it, you definitely would like it. That's but that doesn't work for everything. We both like steak. It we works both, for a lot of things. We both like Hickory Tavern. We both like Marvel movies. We both like some DC movies. We both really like The Dark Knight. We both really like <laughs> Good Will Hunting. Uh-huh. Uh, good Will Hunting, which is also pretty good. It's okay. Yeah. Jordan Michaels! <laughs> 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 that movie was fucking dumb. Uh, it was awesome, though. The you guys seen Wilfred? I've seen a few episodes and it's fucking gold. I've s- what I've seen What's is gold. Wilfred? Wilfred? Oh, is that the one that where like he's the like dog, a dog? The guy's in yeah. a dog suit and it's uh it's a uh, homeboy from Lord of the Rings. Elijah Wood sees him as the thing. Wilfred is my absolute favorite show. Don't have me. <laughs> Isn't that a dude and a furry? <laughs> yes. We should, we should like Quentin watch it. <laughs> what? The way your mind works. No, it's just because so Quentin would enjoy it. Uh huh. Yeah. No other reason. For the reason. Quentin furry you. thing with furry. Quentin will like thing with furry. That's why he will like it. 
pretty obtuse of you oh, to assume. So. Guess what I started watching? What? Umbrella Academy season two. Dude, I'm like and, six episodes in. And, <laughs> so far, and Transformers Siege, mm-hmm. which is pretty pretty good as well. It's actually, huh? I watched Umbrella Academy before I met you. Yeah, he watched <laughs> it before he met you. I watched it way a, a long time ago. I was probably in agreement with you that it's amazing and was also trying and to And I said I was going to get to it, and I did get to it. So and now you're on season two? In your faces, yeah. Season two is so good. Well, actually, I'm watching like five, six different shows right now. Elijah Wood projects a split personality onto a dog. It's an adult Calvin and Hobbes. What's Umbrella Academy? Um, <gasps> Flint, I'm going to so turn you on to the greatest show you've ever seen. I've wa- Maybe I'm not really, but it's up there. It's so good. I'm watching six different shows right now. <laughs> King of the Hill. The old Unsolved Mysteries. Um, <laughs> Evie. What has she got? Her, her paw? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's got her paw, Charlie. <laughs> Trailer Park Boys. Um, Transformer Siege. Umbrella Academy. And I'm rewatching Star Wars in order, and right now I'm on Rebels, like all of Star Wars. Mm-hmm. You should, you should watch the first season of True Detective. What's it on? <laughs> HBO, but you can watch it online. You can find it online for free. I'll you try. Stream it. I'll do my best. Like one, two, three movies or whatever. Big Mouth is furries, pedophiles, and John Mulaney. Oh, there you go. My dumbass doesn't remember. Maybe Hulu. I wanted talk- to watch. Which one are you talking about? I wanted to watch Big Mouth, but like the anim- something about the animation just turns me off to it. But that's how I felt about Rick and Morty at first. It was very offensive to me, animation wise. <laughs> Wait, what? Rick well, and Morty? Well, was like at first. To you? At first, what like, do you mean? Like the animation was just so different. Like kind of like. Uh, well, it was low uh, budget. Well, that too. I mean, no, yeah, by yeah. season two, the budget was already like oh, so yeah, yeah. much better. Looks, they were like, oh, we've got gold here. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Now, but I'm talking about it and first, four, it's like, and I was saying, like, uh, Big Mouth kind of feels the same way. Like, something about the animation just makes me not want to watch it. It looks ugly to me. But, I also haven't watched it yet. So, who knows, later on down the line, I might be like, oh, it's fucking great. Uh, like, you know. Because I've done am, that with sh- that's shows. That's how I am with a lot of, like, classic shows. Like, like I didn't, like like, when I watched Friends or How I Met Your Mother, like, it just becomes what my life is until I finish it. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, I have to finish this I thing. I still haven't finished How I Met Your Mother. Crazy. I need to start back watching that, don't I? I yeah. Well, like, I you need to start over. Time. Honestly, I need to finish if it's show. been a minute, you just need to start. No, over. I mean I remember where I'm at. I'm sure you remember where you're at, but no, you're, but you're I, not gonna I, like, remember all the references. So I've restarted it so many times. Like the first two, first season and the, I want to say first half of season two, I've got like down pat. You know what I mean? It's just that in between area that I gotta get back to. Season one is so much better than I remembered. It's pretty good. I've rewatched it in the recent months. I've rewatched up to like season three or four and the first two seasons specifically are so stupid awesome that like I can't even I couldn't even I had I thought so many of the episodes in season one were like peppered throughout the series. Mm-hmm. Where in reality, so much of the gold that is that show is in the very first season. You know what you should watch? Not like the only good shit. There's a lot of great shit the whole show, but season one and two specifically are so great. What you should watch is Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I know. Cause I it's know. Really good. It's it's stupid, but it's like it's fun. Stupid. Wait, Parks and Recreation? No. No, Parks and Recreation is great. I love Par- Parks and Recreation is Parks? one of the greatest endings of any show it I've ever is. seen. It's on every fucking thing too. It's on Amazon. It's on de- Netflix. It's on Hulu. It's it's on uh, the new Peacock. Whatever the fuck NBC has. I still need to finish Parks and Rec and Good Place and Ozark. But at least I finished Once Upon a Time. The Good Place Ozark, is so fucking good. Ozark might go down as the greatest show ever. Ozark. If 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 the last season, if season five can like stick strong like stick the first blame. four. Yeah, if it can stick the landing like the first four s- or first three seasons. Ooh, Arrested Wait. Development's good too. Is it three or four? S- it's either three seasons are out already or four seasons. I want to say three, but the fourth or fifth, whether whatever's next is going to be the last season, and it is on par to be the greatest show I've ever seen. Like technically, Gr- Game of Thrones is my favorite show, and I think is the greatest show ever. 
But Breaking Bad is probably the most is probably the best show ever technically, and I think Ozark is on its way to de- dethroning Breaking Bad for that spot. It is so like season to season, it is so much better. Like season one of Ozark is better than season one of Breaking Bad. What? What? Uh, Quentin sent me a thing to share with you. I'm scared. Should I be scared? Uh, it says the king of Instagram got caught faking everything, and it's about Dan Bil- Bazil- Bazarian. Dan Bilzerian. Yes, I haven't watched it. Yet. What are you it's saying? A video. What is it? He's saying it's saying he got caught faking everything. What do you mean faking? Like apparently it's all fake. What's it's all, all fake? lies? Everything. The whole Instagram, like everything, his money, his women, all of it. I don't know. I haven't watched the video, Charlie. That's, I'm reading the title. To okay. You. I don't see how, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll I don't watch see the how video. Either. I've seen that video. I've seen that that video is a thing. I haven't watched it yet. It's yeah, just, I've seen that. Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that clip, and like it's all over the place. So I'll figure it out. But yeah, if if he is faking it, that's pretty crazy. Don't. Fake. I don't understand what would be fake about it. Cause I don't know either. We're, I hate if it's the like only one thing of those that things where it's like, oh well, this could be this way. So it's automatically means it fake. You know, stuff that they've just put in there for clickbait. Like if the circumstances are. Oh, well, yeah. right, then it's fake. Like, the only way that he has lived that life and it's fake is if he has some wealthy benefactor that w- just wanted to groom a playboy and put it all together. Because he, it's not doctored. Like, all those videos and that photos are real. Of. It's not doctored. That we know of. No, it's no... People are at those parties. People go to those things and report on it there. They talk about it. There's people... Other influencers go to these damn Missouri parties and have videos of it. That well, we know of. No, it's real. That's a thing. <laughs> That they know of. Is it? What's Game of Thrones? Doesn't it have a shit ending? At <laughs> least Star Wars Episode Nine was good. Nick, how dare you? Floor is Lava is like an obstacle course. Have you seen it on Netflix? I've played the game in real life. I have not seen it on Netflix yet. I've heard that it's like a giant kid show on Netflix. What is? The Floor is Lava? The Floor is Lava. That's what I've heard too. Yeah. Apparently it's really good. It's like a, is it like a legit game show? Yeah, it's like a game show game show. Like I think I I heard it described as uh, along the lines of uh, like the Hidden Temple back in the day. Remember Legends of the Hidden Temple or whatever on nope. like Disney XD. Nope. You never watched that. Nope. I never liked the game show. Temple of the Golden Monkey or whatever the fuck. I never liked never the game shit? shows on Disney XD. Thought they were pandering, and they were. Cause like Not that one. The Legend of the Hidden Temple was like a legit. Like if you're the best, the most active, like intelligent kids will win. Like, the ones who figure out the puzzles and everything will win. Remember when Markiplier was on Disney XD? No. I don't remember that. Him and... Maybe Jack's films? It was somebody else. Oh, oh, um, what's the name? PewDiePie. Him and PewDiePie were on Disney XD on some kind of gaming show. What were they doing? Uh, some kind of... It was a game show, but it was about video games. Elmo is going to have a talk show. I've been alive too long. <laughs> Jericho was host at one of Dan Bilzerian's weed parties. There you go. Who's Jericho? Jericho is a Twitch streamer. Okay. There's a name bunch of Tucker. guys named Jericho. You know that, right? Yeah. How long is too long? <laughs> well, in Nick's case, 24 years. <laughs> Do you want to wrap this? My foot fell asleep. Please help. Yeah, I'm down. Because <clears throat> I have to be somewhere. I know. I'll say it's l- we started later. And we did start and later. It's already, Jesus, it's already 2.15. I know. Okay, guys. Listen. I love <laughs> we love you guys. We'll be back uh, tomorrow. We're going to raid Danny. After a delicious meal at Hickory Tavern. We should get sponsored by Hickory Tavern. <laughs> right? Dude, I, I don't know. I, Just get I'm scared of sponsorships. Purpose. Girth, 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 girth. <laughs> Thank you, Flint. Oh, that one worked. A bunch of times. He said it earlier. No, no, I mean, like, it worked. Like, it worked that time. It wasn't working before. It was it working worked. earlier for me. No, I know it works for you, but mine doesn't have oh, shit turned okay. on, remember? Girth element. What an asshole. What? Okay, guys. We love you. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Penis. Penis.